appreciate you. Oh, welcome in. How are you? Um, I could be annoying and have one of my mods shout out Iron Man Duck. I would uh, really appreciate it. Uh, how was that? How was the Warframe this morning? Ooh. Thank you, Bane. Looking for supplies? Always. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. You bet, Commander. Well, I have. Damn. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salion, too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Shepard. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. You have my gratitude. The captain considers the mission a success. I Let me see what you have. Perfect. Okay. I I don't remember when this game ends. And I don't remember when the spicy stuff is an option. Oh man, Slenderman, if we play Warframe tomorrow, there's a chance that it might be it, it might happen tomorrow. 
it, it could be your most used Commander, weapon tomorrow. Are you coming to check up on me? Yes. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Bye, Liara. Alright. Well, not with that attitude, uh, you won't be able to do it, Slenderman. Come on now. You gotta believe in yourself. Anything you need, Commander? Uh, we'll talk another time, Lieutenant. I don't really Commander? care, actually. Oh. <sighs> about speed and efficiency we gotta get some we'll we'll set you up with some control or uh some capture missions uh we'll just we'll just grind out uh, a million capture missions it'll be absolutely fine uh Hey, hell yeah. Forwarded the mission update uh, to the Citadel, Commander. Fully disagree. Got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. If you can, if you can give me evidence to that uh, effect, Slenderman, I would. I'd love to see it, but I, it's definitely number of missions completed as far as I've ever seen it, and not time. Because the, the game doesn't have a way to track the amount of time you spend in a mission, but it does know how many missions you've completed. Good job, Shepard. Thanks so. to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Udina, you're a fucking moron. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Burmire. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. 
Only you have seen the Reapers, and then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Burmire. I yeah, wouldn't call yeah, that yeah. discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Commander. Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Skeleton glows. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. You're killing me, Joker! You're killing what me. I'm gonna want? remember this. Well, he said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. I'm gonna remember this, Joker. Son of a bitch. Alright. Ali Liara. Classic dream team. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. What a jerk ass. With all this exploration of Prothean culture, this must be like a survey for you, Liara. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. Yes, most of the technology I had hoped to bring back to the flotilla has subsequently attempted to kill us. It, it do be like that sometimes. It do be like that. Um, and, and honestly, Slenderman, there's a really interesting, there's an e a really easy way to sort of uh, confirm which one of us is correct. Hello, Commander. Um, Show me what you've if got. You just, uh, if you just do, you know, uh... Uh, if you just run capture missions, uh, for an hour, and then run, you know, defense missions for an hour, and see which one gets you more points. I uh, gotta head out for dinner. Hope you have an awesome rest of your night and stream. Absolutely, I will do my best, chicken. I hope you have something tasty for lunch or dinner. Whatever it is, losing my mind. Um. 
I hate the heat capacity on this is is slightly lower. That, but it's more damage. Fine. Um. Perfect. Okay. Love that. We love that. Uh, that is way better. Not way better, but significantly better. I mean, this is just... I mean, this one random person in a in a, in a Warframe forum post, I that's not actual evidence, man. That's you know, I I could very easily make a forum post saying the opposite thing. I just you know, it, I you know, I, I I appreciate you trying to find something, but I just you know, I I I believe empirical evidence as opposed to you know what some joe schmo says uh, well that's the thing if you scroll up uh, a little bit somebody else says the exact like says the exact opposite it's number of missions um you know so it's it's frustrating but uh you know i understand um how that could be confusing um it'd be very easy to just uh to find out um actually i'm gonna go to the markets first um it'd be very easy to 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 just experiment around um welcome by like come. spending a half an hour doing captures versus a half an hour doing colonies. defense for survival I'm not saying I'm a hundred percent correct. Um, but why does this stuff why is this stuff trash? Goodness. 
Uh, Commander, I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. I got a lot going on right now, but I can spare mm. a moment. Great. This will just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the Council what humanity is capable of. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at Akuz, but I'd never let you down. What about your wife, Conrad? She trusts you too. Aren't you letting her down? What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. Sorry, Conrad. It's for the best, buddy, I promise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do the right thing. <laughs> Remind him that he's Hello being there. a creep. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. Goodbye. I yes, didn't right, mean to then. do that. Good tidings to you, human. I didn't mean to do that. Let me talk Welcome to you. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Of course I do, Let Moreland. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. Yeah, you will let's see. Let's see the non-standard or the standard armor first. Whole bunch of nothing. I love it. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. I, I think the oh, renegade option is you I just think. deck them. Very good things I have. You will see. You just absolutely clown, clown them. Okay, Turian. Uh, I think. Oh, well, shit, this light armor is way better. Perfect. I guess that'll be, uh, I guess that'll be a goal for us, uh, tomorrow. We'll, we'll, uh, put, put some money on it and, uh, figure out, uh, what, which one of us is right, Slender. Um... What the hell? Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? I'll think about it. Excuse me. Your support would mean a lot, Commander. Gross. Gross. <sighs> I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't was know like... what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. A week and a half ago. Now, was there anything you needed? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Hey. Love another Metagel upgrade. Okay. All right, I suppose it's time to go to Flux.
Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're... you're right, uh... I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Oh boy. You be careful who you say that around. What? Everyone knows fit. It's out of my hands, Rita. I'd bring her back in a second, but welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some hey. quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Goodbye. Enjoy your... Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just I mean, don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, we also, like, shot the place straight to hell earlier, so... Uh, if she hasn't figured it out, it's it, it's pretty sketchy. I don't know what the hell to do at that point. Alright. Hello? Alright. Uh, Quasar, 200 credits to play. Uh, get closest to 20 without going over. Here it is. All right. Sure. We're in it now. We're in it now. This is it, guys. 
This is the rest of the stream. Gambling the whole... I'm gambling the whole two million away. <laughs> Slenderman was like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm leaving. Um... And I'm definitely going to lose. Blunderman, you have a good night. Get some sleep. You deserve it. Um, oof, oof. I will I will take the 200 break even This is the high stakes version of this game by the way Just 400 at a time forever I want to I want 10,000 credit uh runs here uh, well, this sucks. 50-50, baby. Wah, wah. And it's not very, like, lucrative. Hey, there's... I just, I want to get to a, a thousand credits one. Figured that'd be a good goal. Come on, max out. Take it. Well, yeah. You got to make sure your your PS4 is all uh, refreshed and ready to go for tomorrow. Play a little Warframe with me. Okay, that's it. We won a thousand credits. Oh boy. What 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 is the low stakes? Two <laughs> five credits? Goodness. Where where's the ultra high stakes? I'm waiting for someone else. I'm waiting for somebody else. Alright, Anderson. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, <laughs> but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, uh, Chucky Darn. Golly gosh. You fibber. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Oh, oh. My favorite part. Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> listen, you, you got to, uh, you're going to have to get a PS5 here soon, Slenderman. That thing's going to take off on you. There's fly, fly away. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. 
The ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel control. Oh, I mean, the Paragon choice is break into his office, so I guess that's You'll what we're going with. You'll have if you go after the ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The ambassador has made this personal. Yeah. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll Let's rock and roll, buggeroo! You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Stand by. All right. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Whoops. Okay. I don't know why... Whipping random guns really quick. We're going to just go to Cora's Den and go complete a quick side mission. <laughs> I love the game. I would love the game to be like, no, you have to, you have to go. Oh, that's more like, okay. Never mind. I'm dumb. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. Would you shut the <laughs> fuck up? I don't know up? what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. <laughs> huh? What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we better go find out. The Czech. Uh, is it the in the Presidium? There isn't. Dummy. All right. Wonder where he's gonna be. Oh, hey, look, the convenient mission icon. I, I, can I decrypt this now? Hell yeah, I can. Hell yeah. What? Easy. Uh, Helena Blake, no, how does the report she probably the Citadel she last seen? The Emporium of the Presidium. I love that I'm picking up side quests at the apex of this Detective fucking game. Schellig, come into my office. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just there to help her out. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? As part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? You're a smart guy, Chellick. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Cora's den, no strings attached. But... That still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. 
I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. $44,000 for doing nothing. Nothing. Game is fucking warped. <sighs> All right. Uh, lower ward. Hey, look, it's Jax. About to get another, another shootout here. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the mods? Sure, the goods. That looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Why does he look like he's in BDSM gear? Sorry, that just... <laughs> that just hit me right there at the end. That Krog, that, that Krogan definitely looked like he was in straight up... Straight up BDSM gear. Some of the, uh... Some of the early, um... Armor designs for this game are wild. Not great. Not great. Uh... Like, hey, do you want boring ass green or desert camo for your main character? And do you want to make it the best armor in the game? Great. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Woo! Hell yeah. Inferno rounds number nine. Already have it. Designed to detonate on pit high impact. Uh, ex high explosive rounds that have one major drawback, a massive increase in weapon overheating. 500% weapon uh, heat uh, generation, 500% weapons force, 24% damage. So they they're, they basically turn any gun into a... Uh, oh my goodness! Curtis Schmertus with a raid! Chibi Athena, how are you guys doing today? Welcome in! Bane, are you still around? Can we give Curtis a shouty? But it's fine. I think Bane's gone anyways. How are you doing? What were you playing? Let us let's find out. Let's just Mertis. Boo men! Speak of the devil! We were talking about that earlier. How's everybody doing today? This is not Boomen. This is a very different game. Um, what I need to do here? Flux. Oh, finish a game called Orwell and then did a few <laughs> rounds. Well, yeah, you've, you've got to do a couple of rounds. Oh. Sorry. What is happening? A random Salarian's being assaulted. Okay. Um, what's uh? <laughs> getting rain running. Girl is hungry. Uh, I'm gonna leave you on lurk and see you later. Absolutely, Curtis. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. 
Um, everybody from Curtis's, uh, Curtis Schmertis's stream. I'm Francois. I'm a variety streamer. Uh, we do some story games. We do some indie games. We even do some scary games when the mood strikes me. But we do a little bit of everything. Yeah, we just like to hang out and chill. Why were you tossed See what this there? poor Don't Solarian is doing. What I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. But you were cheating, were you not? I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this advice True. is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, I guess he's I just heard. still there, huh? And what did you hear exactly? Okay. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. I sense that you are less than pleased with her return. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. <laughs> All right, Rita Repulsa, calm down. All right. Fabulous. Get the hell out of here. Uh, C-Sec. Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong Cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. I think all I have to do now is just get on the Normandy. I'll be good. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. Oh, Udina, you're about to get it. You're Anderson, about to get it. What are you doing here? I didn't send. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nighty night. Oh. Makes it a hundred percent worth it. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Absolutely love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. But uh, anybody who's still lurking from Curtis's uh, raid, uh, has anybody played uh, Mass Effect? And if you have, uh, how did you play it? They definitely uh, have a variety of uh, opinions on it. We do have a couple of renegades in chat. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good boy. I'm a Paragon player through and through. Uh, I can't, I can't stand to be mean. Looking for supplies? Maybe. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Probably nothing good, but... Worth a shot. Oop. Yay! <laughs> oh. I think we're to the point where I really just have to wait and see for Liara, but. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I should go. 
Goodbye, Shepard. Oh. Get the hell out of Dodge and go save the galaxy, baby. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth fleet out. Uh, how how is this how is this a thing? <laughs> how did I I thought this was like a special place or something? What the hell is what? I, I don't know why I just got that notification. Oh. Oh. Everybody shut up. Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too. And what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you in case we fail. We're not going to fail, I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. You're gonna get a little not safe for work, folks. Just as a heads up. I don't think it's super not safe for work. I think it's like sort of very particular angles and fade to black, but... Oh, there's just full butt. <laughs> full butt. <laughs> as soon as I say that. Cool. Very sick. I think that's the worst of it. <sighs> By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Yeah. No, no, no safe for work mod here, baby. Not for, not for Mass Effect. <laughs> Sorry, I almost said something that was really weird, so I'm not going to say it. But ah, uh, commander, um, we've got company. Have their yeah, sensors picked new? us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. 
Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide <laughs> run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head Let's down go. to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Let's fucking get his ass. Get him. All right, Liara and Tali. Combat. Combat is for fucking losers. We're going girl squad, baby. I did not think we would be finishing Mass Effect 1 today, but joke's on me, I guess. What up, Saren? How are you doing? You two, keep moving inside now. <laughs> Somebody looking for this? Okay. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Perfect. Perfect. I almost hit Z. Later. Okay, later. Hello. Bye. Oh boy. Okay, great. We love that. Uh... Okay, lift that bit. Nope, didn't do anything. Can we stasis it? We can stasis it. That'll do. All right. Easy. Ooh, light armor for... Right. Gall, Talia. Sure. Going right way here. We'll find out. I'm just going to keep following the enemies, assuming that's the way to go. Uh,.
Ooh. Oh, can we control one of the Geff tanks? That would be pretty cool. My stuff is uh, super overheated, huh? Perfect. Z. This looks like progress, perhaps. Definitely, I think, just led us in a big circle. That kind of sucks. perhaps Ooh. all right Oh boy. Making progress. A good sign. nothing up here but that one container huh cool not a waste of time at all all right
Um, I'm... See, here's the thing. Because money this has never... Has power. It must be running off its own generator. This must be, be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Great. Um... Because money has never been an issue, loot and gear has never been an issue. So I'm wondering if I should perhaps uh, play the next game on a harder difficulty. That guy can go that, and then uh, makes them more, dam more vulnerable to damage. We really need to hack a whole bunch of stuff at this point in the game, but. Oh, hey, look, a convenient security panel. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. But Shepard can understand it because the message is of all the beacons. broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. All right, guy, we get it. Uh, we just going out the way we came, or? happening here yeah there looks like there's stuff back there underneath might be underneath psych oh is this a convenient elevator that would take us right to where our Mako is because that would be cool. That'd be very sick. Ooh. 
Ali is fucking bouncing. She's ready to go kill some Geth. He does not give a shit. <sighs> there was the Mako. Good idea. The firepower will come in handy. For one second, I thought that it didn't work and that the door was still going to be closed. And I have spent my life studying the proof. Be a real problem. But I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. We're gonna blow Please, it up. Try to remember why we're here. Seren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy? I am sorry. I was... What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. This bunker became their tomb. I just... no no damage to me at all the mako for being as much of a piece of shit as the mako is as far as uh trying to drive the thing the the shield on this sucker is impeccable i'll tell you what <sighs> what is happening it's a trap saren must have set an ambush i do not think saren is behind this You know what, Liara? For the first time, you might be right. Maybe. Maybe. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever we find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it as well. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. 
Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. 
When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning, a way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the Conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the Conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors. But if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function. But we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. So, when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. How come nobody noticed the Citadel is a giant mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. 
The keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit... I do not... I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that Shepard, Shepard. are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm sorry, Liara. We have to stop Saren. Nothing else matters. You are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Omega, how are you doing today? I hope you're having an excellent one. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you're getting lots of uh, work done and you're being productive. Uh, even if being busy kind of sucks. All their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. Just like my people, but they also gave us a chance to save ourselves. We must hurry. Uh. Okay. Perfect. Come on. Oh, I cannot wait for the new vehicle in Mass Effect 2, baby. Cannot wait. Uh, Mass Effect uh, has been good. I honestly didn't realize how close to the end we were. I'm pretty sure this is... I, I'm pretty sure we're less than 15 minutes away from the ending right now. Truthfully. Um, I think we're... we're we're uh right there um which i i figured there'd be at least two more streams of this game so yeah for real um okay i just got seventy-seven thousand dollars. no big deal this game is so Unoptimized. Oh. You having trouble getting up? No, please. Don't get up. Let me help you. Uh, yes. Yeah, I, uh, I have... M the plan is to play all three. Uh, the plan is I'm gonna play one, two, and three. Um, I might take a break in between. Just, uh, you know, sort of a palate cleanser. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I haven't really decided yet, especially because Mass Effect 2 really is the best game in the in the series. I like 3 a lot, but uh, it has some issues. Um, but yeah, I'm we'll we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but how's, uh, how's Undecember treating you? How's, how are, how are your streams going? I just... This game is also, combat-wise, like, insanely easy. <laughs> Ooh, Elden Ring? Did you pick it up, uh, in there, the Steam sale? The Conduit. Ooh. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Oh, 
Oh, snap! There's a thumbnail, baby. There's a thumbnail, baby! Oh, what's up, guys? Hell yeah. I was surprised to see it on sale, to be honest. Oh, guys, what's up? Do you, do you believe me now? Do you believe Shepard now? Activate the defenses. Seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the Council. Citadel control. Citadel control. Do you copy? All right, let's rock and roll, buckaroo. Let's rock and roll, buckaroo. Hang on. Things are going to get a little rough. Nah, we'll be good. We'll be fine. Easy. Easy. Yeah! <laughs> I don't think the Mako is necessarily equipped for for Critical extra plane or travel but all monitored systems please begin emergency evacuation procedure oh that's interesting it was there the whole time forget about that uh, i played some pass and play in the first game with friends but never played the second or the newest um yeah the the Mass Effect 2 and 3 are really the creme de la creme. They're really good. Um, all right. Oh, boy. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin the emergency evacuation. Okay. This is not a drill. The Presidium yeah. is experiencing severe system malfunctions. I wonder why. Level. All non-emergency. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout Perfect. the station. They you think they might be hostile? hostile. You, maybe. You think? Come on, we need Please to stop. Please begin this. emergency evacuation procedures. Ease, oh, Pete. Critical failure. Oh, one more, one more elevator ride. One more for the road. Oh. Um, how are you liking Elden Ring, though? That does seem like the, uh, the hot game that everybody is playing. Ah! No need to, no need to hurt the keepers just because they, uh, clowned you. Just because a bunch of the bugs. Is closing. They're sealing One. the station. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. Okay, all right. Whew. Yeah, I've seen lots of good uh, reviews for Elden Ring, and it, it does look gorgeous. Um, but I'm glad you're I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, I have heard people say that it's uh, one of the easier Souls games because there's like so many options and there's so many different things you can do. I will say these these like at, at like end game cutscenes are pretty gorgeous. I know the rest of the game is kind of ugly, but Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. We're going in hot, baby.
that's the second time this stream that we've seen Shepard's feet. And I really, I wonder if that's something new that they added. Nasty little man. All right. Let's finish this. Come on, Sovereign, you son of a bitch. Let's finish this. Uh, bro? See you later. Oh, uh, oop. Later. All right. Run, Shepard, run. The whole universe depends on it. Random Krogan Warlord. All right. See ya. You just gonna float out into space, or? What's gonna happen there? Oh! Hello? All right. Hop off. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. Getting sniped? What the hell? Shutting them down. Okay. Be peasy. It's not what I wanted to do. All right. All right, come on. Uh, if I pass. Run. Oh, God. Come on. Should see ya. Bye. All right. Perfect. Fun little Geth dropship uh, fight there. Very cool.
yeah, that neural shock works way better than it should. Okay. Yes. Everyone should just keep slowly coming around the corner so I can just kill them one at a time. That will be super helpful. I normally have the Mako for this, so this is not as much fun as it looks. Huddle up! That's what I wanted. all the way in the back, huh? It really said, how far back can we put this? I do not remember this whole, like, trench run section either. Maybe this is just one of those things where you, know, you block it out, but a hey, access hatch, baby. Finally, here we go. Oh, med gel. Interesting that these are all troopers. Like, we've thrown everything else at you. Let's just give you a break before the final boss, I guess. Alright. Nope. Disappeared. Where is he? Where is you, Shep? Surprise! I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've the lost. final you know that, countdown. Boop, 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 in a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of boop, boop, all the boop, Citadel boop. systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. I'm still gonna kick you your ass, Sovereign buddy. You Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I Excuse I me? Thank you, Shepard. After what Vermeer, you just say to me? Stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us. 
And Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... <laughs> The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. Come on, baby. It's not over. Paragon. Yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. I do not remember that. There's no final boss? What? No. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel, and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up, and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension? Or hold back. Oh man. <laughs> See, I think this does have like long term because you can transfer your file from game to game, there are certain decisions that you make in, in game one that affect game two and three. Opening the relays now, I think Joker. We, save. we need to save the ascension no matter what the cost. I hope the council appreciates this. Me too, sister. Me too. Let me tell Alliance you what. Ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Woo! Get him! Suck on that, you guest bastards. You are all clear. Repeat, you are all clear. The Citadel's opening. All ships move in. Concentrate on Sovereign. Make sure he's dead. They're not just going to drop down there. Oh, they have to drop down further away from them. So there's a dramatic walk up, right?
He's dead. Oh. Okay, I was gonna say, I I don't I remember fighting Saren at the end. No, Tali! No! Liara! Assuming direct control. Oh, he's a monster. That's terrifying. Oh, that's so cool. That's a that's a D and D monster right there, baby. Oh, he's got I am weird. sovereign, and this station is mine. Okay, this is not great. Uh, let's do that. Uh, let's do that. Uh, everything is on cooldown. Son of a bitch. Oh, get out of here, you... Oh, you're crawling so gross! Oh, you're so gross! Alright, everything is... Oh, there's a whole bunch of... Whole bunch of everybody now, huh? Oh, and I'm... Oh, that's not great. Alright, let me do that. Ooh. Uh. Right. I can't. I can stasis Saren. Oh my god, am I gonna win on a technicality? I won on a technicality! Get shit on! Get absolutely dunked on, Saren, you nerd! Sovereign's too strong! We have to pull back! Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Oh god, I'm in the and I'm in a bad spot. Okay. Uh Does she have stasis? Uh, I don't think stasis works. Same way with her. All right, let's just do that. Um, that's not gonna work. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. There we go. Woo! You had enough yet, bud? You had enough? You fuck. Yeah. Being able to damage enemies in stasis is, frankly, busted.
Oh, shit! That's it. That's how Shepard died. Roll credits. Kind of a bummer, bummer end. Captain Anderson, we found them. They're in here. I love that it's Captain Anderson in his, is in his safe now. For full uniform. Where's the commander? Yeah. That's the commander? What? That doesn't make any sense. I love that Shepard just is like jogging like it's no big deal. Like they were just doing laps or something. Yeah, we get it. Shepard's a badass. Very cool. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just that our lives, true. but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. True. And though true. we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all the...
Wow, they <clears throat> they really said uh, we're just we're gonna have one song play during the the credits, and then it's gonna be dead silent for the rest of it, huh? Not even like some ambient, like the like the Citadel music or something. Nothing. Really good. Really good stuff. Oh, folks, that's Mass Effect 1. Um, not quite as good as I remember. Like, still pretty good overall. But, uh, you know, just, just good enough. A solid... Like, 8 out of 10. Like, this game is definitely... Um, like, I can tell... That this game was... Uh, quite... Um, I Like, I, I, I honestly want to say... Uh, it was... Uh, sort of a like a a test run, a trial run, if you will. Oh, uh, because it uh, they they really did such an exceptional job with Mass Effect Two that uh, trying to compare it to Mass Effect One is kind of insulting. To be honest. All right, let's go extras, options, found. All right. As we learned in the last game, the sound effects are super fucking loud. Okay, so it seems super easy. I can just import a character right there. Is Cecilia on the list? Oh, and Cecilia's right there. Perfect. Oh, that's interesting. It has Cecilia's uh, like level fifty three. This is like the this is the level I would have been if I had not done the. Uh... Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Cool. Very sick. Okay, uh, then, good. That'll, th that'll make things much easier for, uh, next week or, you know, whenever, whenever I end up playing, uh, Mass Effect 2. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not committing to next week, necessarily, um, I would, I'd like it to be next week, but we'll, we'll see. Um, 